everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to talk about acute and chronic alcohol poisoning in my previous video i discussed about alcohol poisoning what alcohol poisoning is the properties of ethanol as ethanol is the main ingredient in all the alcoholic drinks then i talked about country liquors action and metabolism and factors affecting absorption rate all these topics are already covered in the part 1 video of alcohol poisoning you can check that out if you haven't i have provided the link in the description box so in today's video i'm going to discuss about two types there are two types of poisoning acute poisoning and chronic poisoning so i'll be discussing both in this video and i'll be discussing sign and symptoms of both acute and chronic alcohol poisoning the treatment post mortem findings then there are two um, conditions called melen by effect and holiday heart syndrome i'll be discussing that also in this video so before starting the video please subscribe to my channel like this video sh and share it with your friends thank you now let's start with this video so and let's understand what acute alcohol poisoning is first understand that there are two types of poisoning acute poisoning and chronic poisoning Acute poisoning occurs when a large amount of alcohol is taken in a very short amount of time. Okay, but in case of chronic poisoning, the it is opposite case. What happens is we take small small amount of alcohol for a very large amount of time. So that is what chronic poisoning is. So first we are going to discuss about acute alcohol poisoning. So acute alcohol intoxication is a condition associated with drinking too much alcohol in a short amount of time it is also called alcohol poisoning now alcohol intoxication is a serious problem it is going to affect your body temperature body temperature will be affected as in the temperature will drop you will be experiencing hypothermia then the breathing rate will also decrease heart rate will, will also decrease and you will also get to see gag reflex it can also sometimes lead to coma or death in worst case scenarios now if we talk about the signs and symptoms of acute poisoning then there are three main stages first is stage of excitation second is stage of incoordination and third is stage of coma so these stages occurs at different blood level concentrations of alcohol for example in stage of excitation the first stage blood level this stage occurs when the blood level concentration of alcohol or the blood alcoholic concentration in in the blood of alcohol is up is uh, ranges is ranged from 50 to 150 mg percentage so the sign and symptoms of this stage includes euphoria uh, euphoria is a, a is a state of mind in which the person is very happy the person is very excited he gets the feeling of well being so the person is euphoric in the stage of excitation in the early stage when the person drinks alcohol when the blood level concentration of alcohol ranges from 50 to 150 that is comparatively low then the person under the influence of euphoria may perform dancing carelessly and fearlessly now there is a saying called in vino veritas this means in wine there is truth this means that when someone drinks wine or some other alcoholic drink the person is going to spell out his or her truth so he may disclose his um, secrets dark secrets that he would not have normally shared with anyone so in vino veritas means in wine there is truth the truth will come out when you drink alcoholic drinks now there is also increased confidence but lack in self control now the person if you are a shy person and you drink alcohol then your confidence might increase and you may go and dance okay but there is self control you won't be able to have a control over yourself then there is nystagmus nystagmus is a involuntary movement of the eye which is rapid so rapid movement of the eye which is involuntary is called nystagmus so this will happen 
then there is mental condition is poor sorry mental concentration of the person is poor the person will not be able to concentrate on anything and the judgment is of impaired the person will not be able to judge what is right and what is wrong under the influence of this alcohol so all these are the points all all these are the symptoms that occurs in the stage of excitement now let's study about second stage which is, which is stage of incoordination so in stage of incoordination the blood level uh, uh, the blood level concentration of uh, alcohol is ranged from 150 to 250 mg percentage now in this condition the person might be irritable or cheerful or excitable or sleepy nausea and vomiting may also be experienced the face of the person uh, looks flushed yellowish in color pale in color then the pulse is rapid the sense of touch smell hearing are diminished or lost the breath smells of alcohol the smell of your breath becomes alcoholic and the pupils are dilated in this stage last stage is stage of coma this uh, happens when the blood alcohol concentrations are above 250 mg percentage here the speech is thick and slurred the coordination is markedly affected there's no coordination between the hands and the legs of the person then the pulse is rapid there's hypothermia that is the temperature of the body is low it is going to decrease then the pupils are contracted but on stimulation they become dilated so what happens is that the pupils are normally contracted but on stimulation given by some other person like pinching or slapping that leads to dilation of the pupil and slowly the pupil comes back to the normal contracted stage this is known as mech iwan sign this is one of the sign of third stage that is stage of coma now the patient in worse condition the patient might pass into the coma stage if we talk about the fatal dose it ranges from 300 to 400 mg percentage normally but the risk of death is increased even if the blood alcoholic concentrations is above 200 mg per dl the fatal period ranges from 12 to 24 hours or even more in some cases now melon by effect let's see what this is the melon by effect is when a person would appear to be less under the influence of specific blood alcohol concentration when the back is busy dropping than the when it is rising okay so here you can see this is a graph for back is blood alcohol concentration that is the amount of alcohol that is present in your blood at a specific amount of time and this is the time okay so when you drink alcohol obviously your blood is going to absorb it so slowly 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 your blood alcohol concentration is going to increase so this melan by effect says that the effect of alcohol is going to be more when the back is increasing rather than when it is decreasing so when you when the blood alcohol concentrations are increasing you will get to see the effects of alcohol like this euphoria you are under no control there is excitement you are happy cheerful all these things will happen when the blood alcohol concentration are increasing rather than when they are decreasing when the blood alcohol concentration starts to drop then all these things all these signs and symptoms starts to drop and you start uh, you start to become a normal normal person again slowly and slowly and you become uh, completely normal when the blood alcohol concentrations are zero so this is what melan by effect was now if we talk about the treatment then you must try to keep the individual awake at no point should the person who is under alcohol uh, acute alcohol poisoning should sleep because the chances of getting into a coma will very much increase if the person sleep then try to keep them in a sitting position not lying down if they do lie down turn their head to side do not let them uh, let them lie on their back okay so you should try that the person is sitting if 
he she is unable to sit then you can tell them to lie on their side never on their chest or back because that can lead to problems in respiration and the person may die due to that now if the person is unconscious put them in the recovery position and check if they are breathing continuously check whether they are breathing or not do not give them coffee because caffeine will worsen the dehydration condition alkaline gastric lavage can be done within 2 hours of ingestion now there's a condition called holiday heart syndrome let's see what holiday heart syndrome is this is basically a cardiac rhythm disturbance and this disturbance is caused due to binge drinking binge drinking means eating uh, drinking a lot of alcohol uh, at the same time and this commonly occurs on weekends and around holidays people drink consume a lot of alcohol so holiday heart syndrome can occur at that time in which what happens is there is atrial fibrillation and ventricular arrhythmias there is cardiac rhythm disturbance of your heart the rhythm of your heart is going to become irregular in this syndrome so next comes chronic alcohol poisoning now chronic alcohol poisoning as i have said this occurs when certain amount of alcohol is consumed for a long time if you take small small amount of alcohol consume small amount of alcohol for a very long time then chronic alcohol poisoning occurs now let's understand the signs and symptoms of chronic poisoning uh, they are of three types physical mental and moral the first is physical there is poor hygiene we can get to experience chronic gastroenteritis uh, gastroenteritis in which there is it is like stomach flu you are going to uh, experience diarrhea nausea these all are the symptoms uh, some kind of infection stomach related infection might be there then there are fatty changes in liver and heart cirrhosis of liver might occur there are tremors insomnia spelling is correct uh, incorrect insomnia then there is redness of eye so these were the physical signs and symptoms of chronic poisoning when person takes alcohol on a regular basis for a very long time then if you talk about mental signs and symptoms in that include loss of memory impaired power of judgment dementia if we talk about moral then the the person might uh, commit crime crimes like rape and the person might get suspicious of each and everything around himself so let's talk about post mortem findings now uh, the there is odor of alcohol uh, around the mouth and the nose of the deceased then there is congestion of conjunctive also seen then the rigor mortis is prolonged in this case and also the decomposition is retarded or slow then the blood if you talk about the color of the blood then it is dark red and the blood is fluid in nature then vis uh, viscera is congested and it is going to smell like alcohol also there is uh, acute inflammation of the stomach with a layer of mucus coating over it so these were the post mortem findings So this was all about acute and chronic poisoning of alcohol. If you like the video, then please like it and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends as much as you can. Thank you.